welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie. Super special welcome to you guys. I'm so happy that you're here. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how my hair and skin routine switches up a little bit in the fall and mostly like winter when it's like cold, cold, all right? I did my whole retaining moisture video, so if you haven't seen that, I definitely suggest you check that out first because I included a lot of top tips in there. But in this video, I am sharing a couple of additional tips as well as showing you exactly what I'm using how I'm using it and the final results and then also we're gonna be talking about my skin as well because your girl has been experiencing her best skin ever in my life all right so I have to share I'm gonna drop all the deets and let's go ahead and get into it so there is a little step that I've added into my natural hair regimen that has made all the difference in my curls okay do you see them pop in this is actually a day three wash and go I'm literally so proud of them and yes it is one bit of an extra step but it's really not that bad and the fact that the curls just pop like this it's great so what I like to do is add pre shampooing to my regimen it is so good so pre shampoo pre cleanse whatever you want to call it it's basically just putting in a mask in your hair and then letting it sit for a little bit before actually getting into your wash day and doing the shampoo, conditioner, blah, blah, blah. So this is my current favorite by Pros. You guys would have seen, I recently just discovered the Pros brand. Long story short, they are a custom hair care brand. So you basically go online, do a quiz, all that. You can tell them which ingredients you don't want, which I absolutely love. So of course I clicked like silicone free. It's also paraben free, color safe, all of that good stuff. And let me tell you, they formulated this perfectly for me. I absolutely love it. Obsessed with pros 100%. So this is the pre-shampoo mask that I got and I've just been loving it. So I literally just go in on my wash day before I do anything. This is my first step of my wash day and I just go in and start dampening my hair with my little DIY spray, which is just a mixture of water and conditioner. And then I will separate my hair and go in with this pre-shampoo mask. And basically all this is gonna do is give your hair a nice moisture surge before you actually start washing it. As much as I love this pre-shampoo mask, you don't have to use this one specifically or you don't even have to use products that actually call themselves a pre-shampoo mask or like an overnight mask. Any kind of conditioner or even a deep conditioner that you really, really love and just always feels really good and moisturizing in your curls will work just perfectly for this as well. I love to go in with a ton of products when I'm doing this because the more products the more moisture and it's just it's basically starting your wash day on the right foot and especially if you love to shampoo it's just like kind of protecting your hair with additional moisture to make sure that your shampoo is really not going to strip your hair of any like essential moisture or any essential oils that it actually needs so love this love this for curly girls this is amazing i like to call this pre-poo for short by the way yeah i used to pre-poo just randomly whenever i felt like oh it'd be cool to do it this time oh my hair is a little bit extra dry now but now that it's getting colder i'm literally doing this every single week every single wash day I am pre-pooing to ensure that my curls are staying nice and hydrated and honestly I have seen the biggest difference in my curls by doing it a lot more consistently I mean this might even be something that I carry on into spring and summer I don't know stay tuned I'm gonna let y'all know but so far it's so great I don't know if you guys can tell from the way that my hair has been looking on Instagram lately and like right here today, this is a day three wash and go that I'm like majorly proud of. And speaking of wash days, I am still 100%, y'all know how I do, I'm still definitely doing my weekly deep treatments. I never skip these, but I know this time of year, it's very like tempting to be like, okay, moisture, 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 moisture. But I wanted to mention that you don't wanna go ahead and over moisturize your curls. So one thing that kinda hasn't really changed is me still focusing on a good moisture protein balance. Having your hair perfectly balanced between moisture and protein is literally like having your best hair day ever. This is literally where you will find your best curls. So I'm continuing to use my favorite ever in the entire world, my Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Mask. This, this right here is the perfect mixture in itself of moisture and protein. I will sometimes use this back to back on a weekly basis and then other times I'll use this one week and then I'll use a moisture mask the next week and then I'll go back to this. I definitely use this bi-weekly at the very, very least. I just, this is just, you guys hear me talk about this one all the time but I just had to mention that even though like the weather's colder, we are battling dryness, don't forget to make sure that you still need a healthy balance between 
moisture, and protein. 11 out of 10, recommend. Another thing that has changed in my regimen though is that I am stretching my wash and goes to seven full days. I wouldn't say seven full days every single time, but at least like, between five and seven days probably closer to like six and seven days but you never know sometimes i need to like do a little refresh depending on content you know depending on how life is going but the point is i am stretching my wash and goes a lot further than normal like in the summer like in the spring and summer i'm normally washing a little bit closer to like once every four days but now I'm really thinking that my curls are actually gonna enjoy much less washes because of how cold it is outside. I did do an updated wash and go routine, which is still very true for me. Currently, it is the same exact routines that I use to achieve this wash right here. So I will link that up here and in the description box below for you to check out if you haven't seen it as yet. Only thing that I did different this time that was different from that video is that I used the Pro's Curl Cream instead of, I think in that video I did the Maui Moisture Combing Cream. I love this Curl Cream. Again, super obsessed with Pro's, loving absolutely loving their product. So that's the only thing I did different because it is a curl cream. I think it did give me additional definition. You guys would have also seen that I've actually been experimenting with things other than wash and goes. I know, crazy. But I have been loving a good twist out. I'm still obsessing over my results from my first twist out ever, girl amazing and when i tell you that twist outs will give your hair the moisture surge that it needs i'm honestly thinking about maybe incorporating twist outs as a more consistent thing that i do like maybe on like a once a month kind of basis even throughout the spring and summer that in itself is kind of like another type of pick me up for my curls i've been noticing and i absolutely love it so when i'm not doing my wash and goes i'm definitely opting for twist outs especially during the winter so those are the main changes that i have made to my my natural hair regimen very small simple changes that you can do that will really make all the difference I'm telling y'all so let's get into some skincare honestly I feel like I need to give you a close-up of my skin because I have been experiencing the best skin that I've ever had in my entire life and I'm about to tell you about some life-changing products, okay? So I have combination skin. So right now, I obviously have foundation on, but do you see, do you see any acne? Do you see any bumps? Do you see any texture? No, honey. And I'm just so proud of it. Honestly, I don't mean to like sound like I'm bolsing or whatever. Like, I'm just really genuinely proud and excited by my skin. All right, so first up for skin, let's talk about face washes. I have two major products here that have been amazing and particularly will be great for winter time. So first, this is the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. So milky, so moisturizing and not stripping at all, but so deeply cleansing at the same time. I literally don't even understand how they were able to make it that good. But the more that I've continued to use this, the more that I absolutely love it. And I've noticed that I'm continuing to reach for this more and more often as the weather gets colder and colder. Love this. I also wanted to mention my Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This is basically a powder and this is actually what I use as a face wash every single morning. So I'll use this in the morning and then use my Fenty Skin Cleanser at night when I'm washing off makeup and stuff and it's like the perfect duo ever. This does not get super sudsy like a soap or anything, which is why I like to use it as a gentle cleanser in the morning time. And because it is a powder, it is exfoliating, but it is definitely gentle enough for daily exfoliating use. So you basically just pour some powder out in your hand, add some water, rub your hands together, and then it creates this really nice foamy kind of consistency. And then you just wash your face with it and then that is it. Love both of these and I think by using them in the way that I've been using, so morning and night, it's just, it's been the perfect kind of combination for me. Next up, I need to talk to you about a magical product that I'm obsessed with. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peels. They are exfoliating peels and let me tell you, they have changed Changed my entire life, honestly. You gotta, you gotta try it to understand, all right? This is amazing. When I tell you skin texture gone, boom. Like I just can't recommend this enough. On the back, it does say to use this once every day, but I don't actually use it that often. I kind of prefer to use it like two to three times a week. And the reason why I was saying that these exfoliating peels would be so good at this time of year is because, you know when your skin gets dry, there's just that dry skin layer on the top this will continuously help to exfoliate that and help to battle that. So it's constantly just exfoliating for you and bringing beautiful new skin to the surface. I honestly like, mm, mm, mm. 
I, I could talk about this all day. So let me just, let me stop and move on to the next one. All right, and then we gotta talk about serums, okay? These are my current two favorites, and honestly, again, obsessed, changed the game for me. So this is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. It's basically a deep hydration serum, and it makes you just look super glowy and just adds like intense moisture into your skin. So this is what I like to use in the daytime because this is when I'm using a much more lighter weight moisturizer. So I like to just pair the lighter weight moisturizer with a really nice intensely moisturizing serum and it's just perfection. And then at night, I'm using the Dr. Dennis Gross C plus collagen brighten and firm vitamin C serum so good I love to use my vitamin C serums at night because overnight is when the product has the most amount of time to work on your skin and I do get hormonal acne from time to time so I really love for this to work on lifting any acne spots that I may have any hyperpigmentation and it definitely works really great together with my daily peels Honestly, if you can't tell, <laughs> Dr. Dennis Gross has been one of my new skincare finds that I'm just, I'm loving so, so much. They are a little bit on the more expensive side, I will say, but I genuinely, genuinely believe it's so worth it. I will spend more coin on my skincare than I do on my makeup, just because your makeup is only gonna look as bomb as your skin looks underneath, you know? So I'd rather spend the big bucks, the big money on making sure that my base, my skin is just as flawless as possible. And then of course, after serum, we have to talk about moisturizers. Again, this one is by Dr. Dennis Gross, and this is my daytime moisturizer which is the bomb Dot com. So this is their Hyaluronic Marine Oil-Free Moisture Cushion. I definitely love using oil-free moisturizers during the day. I do have combination skin, so sometimes in the day it can tend to get a little bit oily. And even though this is really nice and lightweight, it is still so intensely moisturizing. It is just so good. It's lightweight in consistency, but the moisture that it delivers to your skin is just incredible. It's literally what I have on right now, and it actually wears really beautifully under makeup as well. <sighs> Dr. Dennis, I just, I love, I love. And then this is my nighttime moisturizer. This bad boy is thick. I actually need to show this to you, but this is the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. First of all, packaging, all right? Packaging, 11 out of 10. So, so good. I love that there's spatula. <laughs> sticks on top. It's like the one and only spatula for skincare that I've never lost because it, it stays right there. I love it. I have to show you how thick this is. This looks like my curly hair mask. Like it is thick, honey. It's not going anywhere and it is literally the most delicious moisturizer ever. So like I mentioned with combination skin, while I do sometimes get oily in the daytime, I do tend to sometimes get dry at night. It's the life of having combination skin. So that's why I really like to go in at night to make sure that it is just mm, packed with moisture. And then the last but certainly not least addition to my skincare routine for this winter is this bad boy right here. When I first received this, I did receive this from Sephora. When I first received it, I kind of overlooked it, didn't really use it much. Like honestly, I slept on this. On a whim, one day I just decided to use it and I have been hooked ever since. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist and it's so, it's so good. I don't even use it over makeup. I just use this as part of my nighttime skincare routine, especially in the winter. Like it does exactly what it says it's gonna do. It adds a really nice dew, which means it has some really good quality oils that just like lightly mist over your face at night. And oh my gosh, this just sets my entire skincare routine and just makes my skin feel amazing. I will also use this during the day as well if I'm doing a makeup free day. I personally don't like to use this with makeup on because I feel like it just gets a little bit too dewy. But on my makeup free days, I'm definitely reaching for this in the daytime as well. Honestly, I don't think I can live without it. I already have another one sitting in my Sephora cart as we speak. And so that's my current skincare regimen that is especially great right now as the weather continues to get colder. I'm telling you, my hair, my skin, they've just been flourishing, honestly, and I wanna see y'all flourish too. I've really been just so happy lately, so of course, I had to share it all with you. I really hope that you guys found this video useful. And if you did, make sure you go ahead and give your girl a little thumbs up. And if you are new here and you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. I love you. And also don't forget to subscribe so that way you're not gonna miss a new video ever again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.